Anyone who may have seen what was going on in the Silver Hill Cemetery today may have thought a real funeral was going on. It's not the case, but these Honor Guard members will be ready for the next real thing. The pomp and circumstance of a fallen first responder's funeral. Detail, attention. Scoot down, scoot down. Is no accident. Let's get back over there and we're going to try it again real quick. It takes practice. Bring a box of ammo and meet me over here. Okay? Patience. The procession could be a challenge because we have so many vehicles. And respect. We bring control into chaos. And uh, the, the chaotic scene of a, of a death, the, the rigidness of, of the honor guard, the pomp of the pageantry is a little bit of a calming force. Detail, attention. All right, now we're ready. For 16 years, Commander Doug Swartz and his crew. And once they get st started to unload, as they unload, you're going to salute again while it moves. Have been bringing that control. Ready, face. To honor guards across the country. At ease. We make sure that we're honoring our fallen officers appropriately and within the, uh, the codes and the, the regulations, plus the honors and traditions that exist in public safety. They have one shot to get it right. Get a level. One opportunity to leave an impression on a grieving family that will last forever. You can't practice until you get it right. You have to practice until you can't get it wrong because there is only one try to do it and there's a lot of emotions involved. And so they practice for a ceremonial goodbye that is as important to them as it is to the families they honor. On the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.